Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Katie and today is fountain pen cleaning day. It's also got a new package. It's also got a new package in the mail day. So we're going to play around. So I made a purchase from Shown Design. Let me, Shown Design for their lure lock cleaning uh, adapters. I just noticed that my package is short, so I will email them about that, but I have more purchases in my future. Anyway, these are the I do have, I, I ordered a duplicate and that's what I did not receive, but I do have enough for this video. So, um, these are the lure lock cleaning adapters. If you don't know what lure locks are, um, on syringes, there's this threading here that um, allows you to put needles on. It's a safety feature for needles and syringes so that when you put the pressure of like having liquid and stuff in there, your needle doesn't shoot off. Um, I work in a chemistry lab and in labs and hospitals and whatever, lure locks are a requirement for syringes. You like cannot have syringes without them. They are considered essential equipment. Anyway, um, so let's see. They're labeled here, I'm talking and I'm gonna do a Yovo first. Um, so this is, the Yovo one doesn't seem to be labeled, but yikes, um, but the Sailor one is. So I think Yovo is the standard. Let me just show you um, first what I have been using. This is a Lure Lock syringe, but I just put a little bit of like, um, kind of a flexible uh, tubing on. And this works okay. It's not a great fit though. And so you, you, sometimes the water just spurts out the other way. So anyway, let's try this. Um, so let's start with my Estabrook SD, which has a standard Yovo nib on it. Put the converter aside for the moment and let's, uh, all right, that goes in nicely. It doesn't doesn't feel uncomfortable in any capacity. And then we'll pull up and then down. You said to go slowly. I like that just fine, but there's a part of me that wants to use a bigger syringe. So that's a one mil syringe, which I like, but are useful for like ink mixing and stuff. This is a three mil syringe. So, I don't usually clean my pens uh, uh, in this room or on camera, so I'm just slowly going up and down. I have two things of water, a clean and a dirty. So we'll get most of the dirty, like the ink out, and then we'll switch to the clean water for a last. This is really easy, although I do prefer the three mil syringe over the one mil. Now let's go here and my on camera. Let's see if I can do this in a way that you can see it a little better. So I'm just kind of slowly going up and down. It is really nice. <laughs> I have to say. I, th I mean, I think we're already past done. I'm just kind of doing it. It's easy on the hands. And then honestly, I'm going to suck air and just shoot air through it to get some of the water out. That was super easy. Big fan of that. Um, you know, it works kind of like this, but this doesn't make a nice secure fit and it's kind of irritating. So there's one. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, yeah, I was gonna see. So that one is a straight up Yovo nib. This one 
is a Jin Hao, and I was curious if it would fit on the Jin Hao or not. They both use standard international converters, but the like these are so precision machined that like Bach and Yovo are different. Yeah, this doesn't fit on the uh, on the Jin Hao, which is fine. So I'll just show you this one, like. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't fit on this one either. Does it fit any worse? Eh. Let's see how it works when it doesn't really make a nice secure fit. Yeah, see, when you don't get a nice secure fit, you don't get a nice vacuum. So what I end up doing in these scenarios is I pull water up into the syringe, and then I like, attach it the best I can and push water through so it doesn't create a good enough vacuum to pull water through but it's good enough to push to push water through if that if that makes sense so now also it's worth noting that this Jinho is an extremely cheap pen and I probably wouldn't hack anything. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you don't get a good fit is it comes up out the top instead of going through the nib. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too creative with my expensive pens, but for something like this cheap Jin Hao, it'll work just fine. Very hard to stay in frame here. So he claimed it was faster than like other methods, which could be true. I don't know if it's, it's definitely faster than using the converter for sure, like to wash things out. Um, if you're doing that, you are living in the dark ages. Whether or not it's faster than like a bulb syringe, I couldn't tell you, but it is less tiring, less, it is a more pleasant experience. Uh, whether, now, I mean, these are precision made and whatever, so you are paying more than just the cost of the little piece of plastic, you're paying for the design and the manufacturing and whatever. Um, and so, Whether or not you think that a little cleaning tool is worth $10 for you is kind of a personal decision. But, all right, let's see. So this is my Bennu, but it's not a Bennu nib or nib housing. It's a Twisby nib housing. So, oh, uh, let's see how that fits. Hmm. Kind of like the Jin Hao, a little better than the Jin Hao, not excellent, but like, I don't feel, I don't feel like I'm doing anything dangerous here, um, but I will kind of take the Jin Hao approach of more shooting water through than sucking water up. And then we'll try the sailor. The sailor is going to be a real, real test because, uh, that has a sheening, shimmering ink in it. So, but yeah, this is nice and clean, really easy, very enjoyable. And then I like to pull the water out and then just shoot air through it just to get some of that out. I'll still need to, you know, dab it, whatever. Cool. Let's try the sailor. I did still end up with ink on my hands. I think that is just a state of being. All right. This is my sailor pro gear slim. And it's got Birmingham Twilight 
lightning twinkle in it. Uh, which I thought. Oh, okay. Um, it kind of, not that it stains, it kind of coats the converter. So I thought it was emptier than it is, but I have used it and I'm ready to move on. So let's try this. So let's, yep, that's a nice fit. Like the way the Yovo one was, just a nice fit. Pulls ink through, or water through really nicely. This it's gonna be, honestly, this is the use case right here. Sheening, shimmering ink. Now, the sheening inks are super saturated, so this water is thoroughly stained. So, uh, we've reached the limit of how clean we can make it with this water. This is why I did the sheening ink last. So, uh, Ian requested feedback, and I would say it works great. My feedback is I prefer the three mil syringes. I don't know what um, people, what he keeps in stock, but that is my preference. Um, just feels more efficient, and it, it it's the connections are perfectly adequate for drawing that much water through. And the other thing I would maybe wonder is about marking the Yovo one. Because if people like me have lots of them, I think it might make sense to do that. Um, will I get more? Well, I meant to buy <laughs> The, uh, the pilot one, when I placed this order, but I got distracted because there was problems, which have now been fixed with the website about, um, shipping. And so I was messaging Ian about it and involved emptying and refilling my cart as he made adjustments to the website. So we got that sorted out, but I did forget to add the pilot one to my web to my order. Um, and then I will buy the platinum one when that comes out, which it hasn't yet. So, uh, there is my first impressions of the Lure Lock cleaning. I am a big fan. Good work, Ian. Good work, Shown Design. Uh, if, if this seems like a thing that suits you, I recommend you check it out. Uh, but there are other options of things you might already have. Whether or not you think it's revolutionary depends on what your personal experience and priorities are. But I really enjoy it, and I'm a sucker for design and for innovative things. So this is right up my alley. And now my pens are clean. Oh, I still have to do my converters. Uh, all right, I will talk to you again soon. Bye, friends.